What is up you guys? In today's video, you're gonna learn all about Jungle Scout and product research for selling on Amazon. So in front of me here, I have Jungle Scout's platform. And if you want Jungle Scout and you wanna get a discount on it, I'm gonna have the link in the description down below as well as in the pinned comments. This is allow you gonna get coupon code for Jungle Scout so you can walk through the whole process for Amazon product research and see if Jungle Scout's right for you. So in front of me here, I have the platform and you can see here on the units sold, it's almost over 100,000 units as of this year. Growing my Amazon business from scratch, you can see the total profit, the net margin, the average of sale prices when selling on Amazon and when learning the whole process of trying to grow an Amazon FBA business, you want to learn from somebody that actually sells full-time on Amazon. This is what I do. This is how I make my full-time income, really selling products online. And now as of this year, I'm trying to really emphasize and teach people how to do the same exact things, the same process and everything I've learned along the way. There's a lot of people on YouTube that I have seen that don't really sell on Amazon, or maybe they tried in the past and they're teaching people. And there's a lot of fake gurus out there teaching people how to sell on Amazon when they don't really do it themselves. Maybe they did it in the past and their business failed, who knows, but there's a lot of fake knowledge out there. So if you're learning from somebody to sell on Amazon or anything like that, learn from somebody that's actually doing it full time as their job, you know? So this is the platform and we're gonna be talking about Amazon product research and how you can find a good product to start selling on Amazon. So when it comes to selling on Amazon, I like it to break it down to three product ideas that you wanna keep in mind. What these three things are gonna allow you to do is grow a long-term business and a long-term business model. You see, when finding the right product to sell, you don't want to sell anything that's a hobby or anything that you're passionate about or anything like that. I would rather you to actually use these three rules. The first rule, you wanna sell something that's small and light. You don't wanna sell anything that's really heavy. Anything over three pounds is a no, especially if you're a beginner. The smaller, the better in my opinion. And the second thing you wanna focus on is you wanna sell something that's not in a high competitive niche. You wanna sell something that's in a low competitive niche and you wanna sell something that you're gonna be able to get ranked on the first page. Selling on Amazon, nobody's, when they're purchasing, going on the third, fourth, fifth page, you always wanna be on that first page. You wanna sell products that are not so competitive, something that you can get into a small niche, the average goal when it comes to selling on Amazon is you want to make 250 to 300 dollars profit per product that you sell this is super doable super reachable and this is how I grew my Amazon business literally five years in the making with this and how I grew my Amazon business from one product to the next and to the next and you can do the same exact thing if you follow these steps so we talked about the second one selling something that's not in a competitive niche and the third one is you want to focus on on the profit margin. You want a profit margin of 35% or higher. Later on in this video, I'll show you guys exactly what I mean by that, but you wanna focus on 35% profit margin or higher. How are you gonna do this? Ideally for selling products like $18 or more, it's gonna give you a high profit margin because you have to consider Amazon FBA fees and you also need to consider shipping fees as well. These two fees you need to consider when selling on Amazon. And yeah, a high profit margin is gonna allow you to really invest in the business, snowball it from there and grow to the next product. And next thing you know, you have a million dollar business. So let's do some Amazon product research now and show you guys what to look for. So we're gonna look for a product database here on product research. And what you can do here is you can copy exactly what I'm gonna be doing here step by step so you can do the same get the same results. So these are the categories that I like. Baby, health and household, sports, outdoors, casual lawn, pet supplies, tools, home improvement, office products, kitchen and dining, and kitchen, home and kitchen. For the price, we're gonna put, let's put $20 so we can get some good stuff. Reviews, max 100. Uh, let's put max weight, three pounds. And let's put net revenue, 9,000. All right, but we're gonna put sellers, we're gonna put one in one we're gonna put standard size and FBA now we're gonna click search and get the results from here now this is gonna give you a list of a bunch of product ideas that you might want to keep 
and consider. So what I want you to do when you're doing Amazon product research here is that I want you to get a list, right? Get a piece of paper or uh, make it on a notes file on your whatever laptop or computer, write down these product ideas that you want to keep and you want to use for the future. So you want to filter it down a couple of product ideas that you get in mind and you want to see the suppliers with those products and the profit margin you can potentially make. You want to really take this into consideration when doing a long-term business. This is a lot of information to get, especially if you're starting off with selling on Amazon, a lot of information that you're learning the whole process. I know it's very intimidating at first, but once you do the whole process one time, you do your first shipment, the whole process is going to be a lot easier. Like when I first started, I sell full-time online, super intimidating. Now it's a piece of cake for me. So you want to scroll on here to find a good product idea that you have. These might be a really good one right here. They're making, you can see on revenue monthly, they're making close to $15,000 in sales. And let's just click here to see how much you're selling it for. Actually, this is a product that I would not sell. The reason why it falls under the third category I was talking about earlier that the price of this product is way too low for something for us to be making profit or even money on. You want to sell something that's over $20. This is not what you're looking for. Like you need to sell things that are over $18. That way you can have a high profit margin and have a successful Amazon business. So you want to look here to find a product idea that you might consider. This one might be a good one here. This is well, this one's actually a pretty good one here. So let's click it really quick here to see this product idea. So let's say, for example, we want to sell something like this, right? Just a tub spout for a shower. On average, this one's selling for $23. The sales is about 700, you know, 700 units. Let's see. Let's go back here to see how much revenue they were making with this product. We can go back here, look for that product. Again, they're generating $18,000 in sales every month selling this product. So how can we do the same exact thing? You can see back here, they only have 68 reviews, something very doable and easy to get into. And let's say we want to sell this exact thing. So what you would do to sell this thing is you would go on Alibaba.com and you would find this exact product. So you're going to go on Alibaba.com here, right? And you're going to type in this main keyword. Let's put like something like this. And what I would like to do is put max price 350 and then we're going to Gonna get a bunch of suppliers for that product that we're looking for so let's say we're gonna filter it down a little bit more let's put bathroom okay let's see what we get so there's a couple of suppliers there's this one there's the one we just passed let's say you want to sell that product idea of the tub spout what i want you to do is get a couple of these suppliers here and i want you to contact them at nighttime that's going to be the best way you can get live chat with chinese uh, manufacturers because you're in the opposite time zone if you're in the US if you're in the at nighttime it's in the morning so morning is at nighttime in China so you want to contact them at night because it's in the morning for them and that's when they're gonna be able to respond to you live so ideally what I like to do is contact them at 9 to 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time for me and I usually get live customer service and I would ask them for the price of this I would ask them for a PDF catalog of all the products they have, see um, more product ideas that you might consider or think of. Falls under everything I like. This product is less than three pounds, small and light. You're gonna have a high profit margin. It's selling for over $20. You know, you can make a business selling, you know, bathroom accessories like this. Let's go back here. So this is just one product idea that you can consider to sell. But of course, you want to keep looking and do more product research and get more product ideas. So let's keep going and let's keep making a huge list of product ideas that we have and we can grow a long term business from this. When you find that right product that you want to start selling, you want to make sure that you can build a whole brand around whatever you're trying to sell. So let's say if you're trying to sell tub spout, what I would do in this thing is, you know, I'll sell faucets i'll sell all type of, of different accessories with this so what you're going to be doing with your first product idea for product research is you're going to just be building a whole brand around that one product you're not going to be selling a product like pens and then you're also going to be selling uh, mouses and then 
cables. No, you're gonna build a whole brand of, of whatever you're trying to sell a whole niche in. So let's say you wanted to sell this product, right? You would go to the supplier and you could actually see all the products that they're selling. One thing that I like to do when dealing with long-term suppliers, especially with Alibaba and um, people that have been on Alibaba for a long time, is I like to look at the years that they've been on. Ideally, I only deal with suppliers that have been on here for like five years or more. That shows me that they have a reputation with selling products to consumers. And that just, I've dealt with people that have only had one or two years and sometimes they're middlemen and they don't give you the best price as well. So always deal with older suppliers. And you can see here that they have a bunch of, of the same niches, right? So they, this is what they do. And when you get that product idea, you're gonna be building a whole brand around it, right? That's what you're focusing on. So how do we know this product is gonna give us a high profit margin for selling? So we have the, the product here is $23, right? And we have, let's say we found this product and it's 350. What are the Amazon FBA fees and the shipping fees for this product? That's what you really need to consider also when doing Amazon product research. So to do this, you're gonna to go to Google and you're gonna put Amazon FBA calculator. You're gonna click this here and you can continue as guest. You're gonna go back to the competitor's listing that's here and you're gonna go and grab the ASIN. So the ASIN is on the URL after DP slash is the ASIN. You're gonna copy this. You're gonna go back to the Amazon FBA calculator, type in this ASIN, click search, and you're just gonna put in the, the cost of it, 350, and shipping cost for miscellaneous cost, let's put uh, 60 cents. So remember how I told you guys you wanna have a profit margin of 35% or higher earlier in this video? You can see the profit margin here is the net margin, 43% which is good to sell. So product like this, the Amazon fees would be $4.44, fulfillment cost would be $4.50, product cost is right here, and shipping cost to consider 60 cents. That's from shipping it from China to Amazon's warehouse. You're gonna be profiting from this product every sale close to $10, $9.89, giving you a net margin of 43%. 35% or higher is what we aim for to grow a long-term Amazon FBA business. So this is how you're gonna find if a product is profitable to sell on Amazon and whether or not you wanna sell it or not because you wanna make sure that you're gonna get a high profit margin for the product. You also wanna make sure you can get that product for a low cost as well on alibaba.com and what i really want you to do with the jungle scout platform is to really search and get a bunch of product ideas we're on page one and there's 162 pages and this is constantly updating so you can see here you can just keep growing and getting more product ideas and learning more about this whole process there's so much ideas and so many opportunities when selling on amazon that you want to make sure that you do everything correctly you're building a long-term business and when it comes to this you can build a long-term brand that you can scale even outside of amazon like for example somebody offered to buy my business recently for over 1.8 million well, it was 1.6 to 1.8 million they offered to buy my business and this is just me growing something from the ground up i didn't have that much money to start with literally started with one product and scaled to the next one and the next one doing this process you'll be able to do the same exact thing make sure that you find a product that's com not competitive you can get it ranked on the first page you can get good profit margin and the whole step if you want to learn how to rank uh the product on the first page or how to do amazon advertising i teach that all for free on my channel you can check out other videos hit that subscribe button like this video if you can i really really appreciate it and also if you're interested in taking this to the next level or anything like that i even offer you guys a free amazon fba course that goes through all the basic information of sourcing a product doing the shipment sending it to amazon making your amazon account making a listing there's so much to it right there's a bunch of information out there and you're building a long-term business if you want to learn how to do the whole process for free check out my free course i have a free course for you guys nothing is needed you can literally start in three minutes from now and then i also have a more advanced course there that even offer one month for free and it's more of a monthly membership after that both of them are for free it's it's great i mean you can't get any better people are all selling courses out there for two to three thousand dollars and I'm, I'm trying to help you guys out as much as possible that's something to consider if you have any questions regarding any of this leave a comment down below that's about it see you guys on the next one peace